cardiovascular disease is a significant component of what um, uh, complicates uh, pregnancies and causes morbidity and mortality for, uh, for mothers and for babies. Many women may not know that they necessarily have cardiac disease, and in becoming pregnant and all of the changes that happen in the body with pregnancy, their cardiac disease is uncovered. And some women have underlying cardiac problems, have known cardiac disease, and pregnancy may be a bit more challenging for them. The goal of creating a team of doctors who have a dedicated um, mission in terms of uh, providing exceptionally high quality care and improving outcomes is really so that we can identify women who might be at risk for cardiac complications during their pregnancy, monitor them closely, anticipate the problems that could come up, and really try to optimize their outcomes with not only delivery, but with their cardiac health now and later. So a number of our patients um, have really uh, congenital heart patients have benefited from the advances in pediatric surgery and anesthesia over the past several decades um, in that many children who are born with very complex congenital heart problems um, were able to get surgeries and repairs to allow them to make it to adulthood and now they're in the time in their life when they're thinking about having a family. So these patients have cardiac disease and often have had surgeries many years earlier in their lives, sometimes in childhood or infancy. And the stress, the physiologic stress that comes on with pregnancy may unmask some problems with their heart. For example, women who may have uh, cardiomyopathy with pregnancy and all of the volume shifts that occur in pregnancy, they may develop new symptoms of congestive heart failure. So it's critically important that those women know that although they're feeling well and doing well when they're not pregnant, that they should be counseled that there are some risks that come along with pregnancy and in order to minimize the risks of an adverse outcome, it's very important that they get followed by a cardiologist who's comfortable in this um, arena of obstetric medicine as well as an obstetrician who um, uh, practices higher risk type of um, OB. And that collaboration really allows for that patient to um, be cared for in a way that we can optimize their outcomes and prevent problems.